By the way, someone have a number for the president? A recent poll said that 43% of Americans are not even sure who you are. The flipping Mormon. <laughs> How did you feel on the stage? I was dying. Oh. Oh. You just get beat up constantly. Oh, Mitt Romney's a flip-flop, or he's this, he's that. And I go, man, is this worth it? It's like trying to convince people that Dan Quayle is smart, all right? You're not going to convince them that Dan Quayle is smart. And it maybe i got to live with that. Oh, you flip on everything. And in which case, I think I'm a flawed candidate. You know, from the clips we've seen, the reviews I've read, he comes off as a real person, not the stick figure we heard during the campaign. And apparently, one of the kids, I think it was Tag or whatever, said, let's put this documentary out. They gave, gave the guy almost unfettered act. They kicked him out of some strategy meetings. But by the way, by, by and large, the guy had the camera going. And the kids said, put the thing out in the campaign. The old man, my father's looking like, you know, he's a caricature. He's not a real person. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he was Chris Christie in this uh, going blue. But the point was he looked more relatable than the one, the candidate we knew. Is it too risky? Um, or is it what the public wants now? Uh, to see a guy, warts and all, as a human being rather than this perfect candidate with the perfect family, with the perfect, you know, uh, f camera shot in terms of the commercial. Do they want more authenticity in 2014 than they did before? Well, Mitt Romney is right. You're not going to convince anyone in America that Dan Quayle is smart. <laughs> so he's right about that, okay? Mr. Potato himself. Yeah. Um, I think that a documentary such as this one would have greatly helped Mr. Romney. I think that when a Bill Clinton, for all of his uh, scandals, when he goes on, our, our, on an Arsenio Hall and starts playing his saxophone, that people want to see a connection. Yeah. I, I think it's to the point where Americans care about issues, but also about personality. They, do you want to have a beer with this guy? Can I connect with this guy? You, know, I think I, you knew the so. strategist guys. You knew, and, and apparently I, I, I was reading a, a, a decent amount about this. Strategists were like, no, no way, because they're all about control. You want to control messaging. You want to control the image. You want that to control. wasn't working. Oh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> but I just think there's an inevitability to this thing, Andrew. Even him praying, and their paranoia that the Mormon thing would scare America. Seeing a guy pray, regardless of his faith, that's, that doesn't scare America. I think they made a mistake about that. See, I think all... I think there is a desire for people to be more genuine, for people to be, to show more of themselves. And I think that would resonate with voters. I mean, look at the, the rise of reality shows. A lot yeah. of that is people who f they feel like they can get close to the people who are on the TV. But it's a, it's a weird thing. The people who are in these spotlights and in these pressure cookers, on some level, I think there's a sense that people may not like what you're selling. People might not like, if they saw the real you, they wouldn't like it, which is kind of a bigger indictment. If you're putting your, your full self in front of everybody and it doesn't play well, well then what did you have? So, so, you know, and we see this from time to time in candidates who are lesser known candidates and then all of a sudden explode into a big time moment and then they tend to fall apart again. But uh, this is a little bit more controlled. You, you, you know, yes, you don't control the documentary, but you, you know where you're giving them access to. And I know everyone's so paranoid. You ever talk to a campaign manager? I know you guys have. They're always about the messaging of the day. You lose a day. You lose two days. It's, it's critical in a campaign. Then you got to do damage control and everything else. But the consequence is what? If you come across as a person nobody knows, what have you gained? And, and, I, and I felt that way. You, you were there in Tampa at the mm -hmm. convention. And I remember covering it. I mean, covering it from back here. And I said, that 8 o'clock hour, when they talked about what this guy did, in poor communities and he didn't even look to get all the attention and those people in Boston came out and said he did this for my family he paid for that and nobody knew about it I was like I learned more about this guy and that wasn't even in prime time not the stupid chair with Clint Eastwood and all the other garbage they were terrified of his religion though the, uh, his team was terrified of his Mormon background as an issue in this campaign and a lot of the things that made up that that documentary yeah. were, were organized through the church and I think there was some Real concern about spreading that too far. But Richard, he, yeah. he was he was up against Obama. Yeah, that's true too. And and, and un, unless you found a way to connect more in which Obama was connecting, you were not going to win. But I always thought if he said this, Dominic, and maybe more artfully than this, you know what? I'm not the guy you're gonna have a beer with. I spent my life building companies, right? And I know how to run a business. Now the other guy, he's better. He's more smooth. He can, he can rally an audience. And if you want that, you ought to vote for him. 
But if you want somebody who can run a company and run a country and, and manage budgets and actually has experience and all the rest, and I'm not saying I would have voted for him, but I'm just saying, I think the public would have said, all right, at least you gave me a choice. You're, Instead, he tried to be so... But you're talking about a way to, gain, to win votes. I'm going to win votes by being that's this That's what an election's no, about. No, it's about not losing votes. And that's the, I think that's the approach that's been dominant in politics for a long time. you got to be all things to all but people again, because you don't want to leave any Andrew, votes at the door. That he had a chance at some votes before, and I think he had such a narrow population that he had to hit a home run, and he was never going to do anything more than a double unless he did something different. Independence just never saw a reason. I, I, I don't agree that he lost it. I just think he never gave a chance to win it. All right, we come back, everybody. Um, there could be more storms next week. I'm not trying to be alarmist here with uh, Snowmageddon, but it actually could push the Super Bowl. And I'm starting to ask anybody, what were they thinking again? We'll talk about that after this.